Um, we are presenting the Red Lionfish today, Elizabeth, Samantha, and Nicole. And um, so today we're going to start off with our physical descriptions. The Red Lionfish, also known as the Pitoris volatans, uh, is known for its elongated fin elements and distinctive color patterning. Depending on geographic location and water depth, their coloration can be highly adaptable. It is zebra banded with narrow reddish or golden brown vertebra, uh, vertical bars stretching across a whitish to yellow background. The soft dorsal and anal and caudal fin have dark rows of spots on a clear background. It has a fleshy tentacle above each eye and the tentacles below the mouth. The red lion fish ranges in length from 12 to 15 inches and can weigh up to 2.6 pounds. It has venomous spines on the dorsal and pelvic fins. The feather-like pectoral fins, however, these right here, do not have um, venomous spines. All right. The native habitat of the lionfish um, is uh, the Western Pacific, is from the Western Pacific of uh, Southern Japan in Southern Korea to the east coast of Australia, Indonesia, Micronesia, and French Polynesia, and Southern Pacific from Western Australia to the Marquesas and Borneo to, in the um, Pictern Islands. And this is a picture of where they're originally found. Their natural prey or food source, um, it's recorded that 42 Atlantic fish have been recorded as lionfish prey. Um, to catch them, they slowly approach the prey. Lionfish produce jets as water directed toward their prey. And these jets may confuse or distract prey and often result in prey fish. Facing the attacking lionfish increases the probability of head first capture and swallowing. Given the wide distribution of the red lionfish along the U.S. Atlantic coast, it is not surprising that the diet of these fish should vary with location. Different places offer different kinds of crustaceans and fish populations. Natural prey or food source continued is lionfish can eat prey over half the size of their own body as long as it'll fit into their mouths. In addition to the lionfish, or in addition to the fish they eat, they also eat invertebrates and mollusks, shrimp, crabs, juvenile octopus, squid, juvenile lobster, seahorses, and so on. Uh, natural enemies, large lionfish have been recorded to have been eaten by certain sharks and groupers. Juvenile lionfish are often consumed by wrasses and mantis shrimp. There is, some, there is some conjecture as to whether or not hornet fish located in the Red Sea could be a predator of the red lionfish. Remains of a red lionfish were found in the belly of a hornet fish located there. Uh, it is believed that they consume red lionfish from tail to head. Because the red lionfish has spread to locations in which it does not belong, the red lionfish has been added, um, I'm sorry, the red lionfish has added a new predator to its list, humans. Uh, they are used for food, other necessities, and niceties alike. The unfortunate part is that uh, there have been no documented actual predators of the lionfish. There aren't predators that go out and seek the lionfish actively. They're more a meal of convenience rather than a meal that is hunted. The lionfish has been introduced um, to the indigenous to the West Pacific and their native origin occurs in the West Pacific Ocean. The lionfish are native to the Indian and Western Pacific Ocean. Since the late 80s, they've been turning up on the other side of the world. Snorkelers and fishermen from North Carolina to Venezuela can now spot these freaky looking fish in their home waters. Their introduction to the Atlantic was likely the result of an accident or intentional release from aquariums and fish owners. It is speculated that the red lionfish was introduced to the United States waters sometime in the late 1980s or early 1990s. The most probable method of introduction was via the aquarium trade. Owners often dump unwanted pets into the ocean when they, when they become too large or expensive to keep any longer. Another method of introduction was during Hurricane Andrew. It is thought that the hurricane destroyed an aquarium and all its contents were washed away into the ocean. Adaptations to new habitats. The red lionfish has physiological and behavioral adaptations that allow it to shoot jets of water directly at their prey to stun or disorient it. However, because the red lionfish already has so many built-in adaptations already, it has not had to develop any other new adaptations that research has seen currently. The red lionfish can live in highly variable temperatures of water. They are protected by their coloring, poisonous spines, and the relative newness it still has in many of its new environments. Also, the way the red lionfish hunts lends it 
itself to be a very effective hunter as it intimidates its prey and then corners it, removing the prey's ability to escape. The food source for the new habitat, Morrison Atkins National Oceanic and Atmos Atmospheric Administration did their study in the Bahamas. During every month of the year, of a year, they routinely capture and dissected red line fish in order to determine stomach contents. What they found was that fish comprise most of the red line fish diet, 78% of it. Crustaceans made up the majority of the remainder, 14%. It was noted that larger line fish prey almost entirely on fish. In addition to the fish they eat, they also eat invertebrates and mollusks, shrimp, crabs, juvenile octopus, squid, juvenile lobster, and seahorses. The new predators, enemies in the new environment. Um, since lionfish are not native to the uh, Atlantic waters, they have very few predators there. Um, lionfish have few known natural predators of their own anywhere. However, sharks have been seen eating them when they make a convenient target, as mentioned before. Um, groupers have also been known to eat lionfish, but have not been seen actively hunting them. Uh, Rasses and mantis shrimp eat um, juvenile lionfish. Uh, impact on the new environment. The red lionfish have significantly reduced native reef fish populations. Because of this, native predators are having problems finding food, and therefore their populations have also been reduced. There is concern about the effects this will have on commercial and recreational fisheries. Uh, and this has economic consequences into the billion dollar range just for the Carolinas alone. The effects on the human population. The poisonous sting of the lionfish directly affects the human population as a health concern. The first response is to immerse the affected heart in hot water for about 30 minutes. Lionfish toxins, which are protonaceous in nature, are degraded and dentured by heat. Hospital treatment is then used to decrease the pain and monitor a systematic and allergic reaction. Medical anesthesia removal of spines, administration of prophylactic antibiotics, and tetanus immunizations are the mainstays for treatment. A lionfish sting is usually non-fatal, but in extreme cases could lead to allergic reaction, reactions, nausea, vomiting, and cardiovascular events. People are being asked to catch lionfish to help decrease their population. The increase in red lionfish population has had its effect on tourism in some areas and has begun to decrease revenue for these areas. More effects on the human population. Uh, the lionfish has reduced biodiversity of the reefs that has invaded. This reduces the population of fish that commercial fishing industries are dependent on. This negatively affects the economy of island communities and other fishing industries dependent uh, on this revenue. Lionfish also affect the tourism and recreational industries in these types of communities as well. This too can cause economic hardship. People are being asked to catch lionfish to help decrease their populations, and by catching these fish, the economy stands to benefit. Lionfish are caught and sold for food and art. Although the economy is suffering in some areas due to their increase in numbers, other areas may stand to benefit from their presence. The endangerment of species in the new habitat. Um, although there are no specifically known endangered species because of the lionfish, it is said that the lionfish is having a great effect on the coral reefs in the Atlantic and Caribbean oceans. Um, the lionfish in the Atlantic are term, um, termed invasive species, a, a native organism, a non-native organism that um, in, has intruded into an area and may have serious detrimental effects on native organisms in the local economy and human health. Um, how the lionfish will affect native populations and commercial fishing industries has yet to be determined. Um, what is known is that non-native species can dramatically affect native ecosystems and local fishing economies. Experts are carefully studying these invaders to better understand their role in a potentially threat to um, the Atlantic Ocean ecosystems. The effect on biodiversity in the new habitat, lionfish reduce um, the biodiversity of the area they invade. They eat naturally occurring species as, at such a high rate, they don't have time to respond fast enough to replenish their numbers. The species don't. Um, also, because lionfish can reproduce so quickly, about 2 million eggs a year, they will continue to overtake areas at this rapid pace. Um, this will happen because they do not have widely known natural predators or predators that consistently hunt them. They are more of a meal convenience rather than a, um, than a sought after one. All of this will affect the Economy of fishing communities and could help to place specific species on the endangered or even extinction list. Reproductive habits and how they
they affect the ability to adapt and control the new area. Reproduction is sexual and involves external fertilization of eggs and a suite of complex courtships and mating behaviors. The species is generally solitary outside of the reproductive season, but during courtship, males will aggregate with multiple females to form groups of three to eight fish. Females release a pair of mucus encapsulated clusters of 2,000 to 30,000 eggs to the pool. Pelagic? Pelagic environment where they are fertilized by the male. Embryonic development within the egg masses is evident around 12 hours post fertilization and larvae hatch within 36 hours of fertilization. The larvae become competent swimmers two to three days after hatching. Uh, reproductive habitats continue. Each spawn can produce up to 30,000 eggs. Unfortunately, scientists have concluded that the red lionfish populations will continue to grow and cannot be ex extirpated using conventional methods. Due to their um, fecundity, rapid and widespread distribution adaptability to a variety of shallow and deep habitats and behavior, scientists believe that the lionfish invasion could become the most disastrous invasion in history, devastating coral reef ecosystems throughout the Americas. Um, in favorable conditions, male lionfish can release egg masses approximately every four days, up to two million eggs a year. The human impact on introduction or eradication. Um, there is much speculation that the lionfish was introduced to the new habitat of the Atlantic Ocean by humans, and that, that goes back to the Hurricane Andrew incident. All over the U.S., lionfish debris and hunting um, series are held and hosted to help reduce their numbers. The market for lionfish has begun to increase for restaurants, art, and tourism. And interesting or fun facts, did you know? Uh, lionfish have, been, have a history of being aggressive towards humans, so stay away unless you've been taught how to hunt them. Uh, common nicknames for lionfish include scorpion fish, turkey fish, and my favorite, dragonfish. Uh, because they are so exotic looking, they are very popular aquarium fish. You may see them at your dentist office. Um, and in many countries, people eat lionfish. They're even considered to be a delicacy. And lionfish tend to be loners, um, and they only congregate when it's time to mate. Uh, female lionfish, as we've said before, can lay up to 30,000 eggs, which then hatch in a few days. That's up to 2 million a year. So if you have five female lionfish, that's 10 million eggs a year. Uh, a lionfish's stomach can expand to 30 times its normal size, allowing it to hold a ton of food. Talk about a voracious appetite. And then the USS Lionfish was a Vallejo class submarine commissioned in 1942. It was the only ship in the US Navy named for a lionfish. And then my favorite, uh, fun fact, on Star Trek The Next Generation, Captain Picard has a pet lionfish named Livingston. So if you watch any episodes, you can see him sometimes in the captain's quarters. And that concludes our lionfish presentation today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot.